excuse I actually moved moved to a whole nother state so I'm not I'm not a cat well I'll always be a Cali girl but I'm not located in Cali anymore so I things have been a little hectic for me a little crazy um but yeah I did move but um as you can see I'm back set up in my new home in my beauty room and I wanna play with some makeup, okay? I did pick up a few new items from Sephora. Um, I got a couple of things in my BoxyCharm, just stuff that I wanna try out, you know, play with. So I said, you know, let me sit down, do a makeup video. Hopefully I'll get into vlogging again um, since I'm in a new state, new place, new vibes. And, you know, just kind of bring you guys along with me on this new adventure, but Let's play in some makeup today, okay? So, um, as you can see, I still need to kind of clean up my brows and everything. I actually have this Murad Clarifying Oil-Free Water Gel that I got in my Boxy Charm that I'm going to um, put a little bit of that on just to moisturize and hydrate some, clean up my brows, and then we can go ahead and jump into today's look. One of the new items that I am going to be playing with is my Nomad. This is their latest, the Paradise Island palette. Look how pretty it is. I know I am actually on the late bus with this because I did move. It actually took a while for the palette to get to me, for me to get it. Um, So this is what she looks like though. Absolutely gorgeous, perfect for spring and summer looks you guys know i love color this is like a lighter color story it's like sim semi pastel but it's actually you know deep enough to where it's not like super pasty or anything so i'm really excited to try this out i love nomad i love the fact that they send me their palettes to try out even though like i said i've been kind of mia lately but I'm always going to support them, always going to um, try out their new releases. And this is a palette that I am going to be playing with today. So we'll see how that goes. Y'all, I haven't put on makeup in so long. I actually um, just put on some makeup recently um, when my girl Lily came to visit and... <laughs> It was a struggle. It was a struggle. Have any of you guys like been through that where it's like you took a long break from putting on makeup and you haven't really done it in a while and then you went to do it and it was like, I don't even remember how to do this no more. Okay. So I feel like, yeah, I definitely need to get back into the swing of things so that I can get back on my, you know, just enjoying doing makeup, putting on makeup, sharing it with you guys and getting excited about it again. I think just the last, I will say, two and a half, three years just has really taken a toll and been kind of hectic. But I am ready to just get back to the things that I love and that I used to be excited about and just really you know, get back into the groove of things, okay? So, yeah, this feels really nice, actually. And it smells good. It doesn't have a scent scent to it, but it just smells nice and clean and, and healthy, refreshing. So, I like it. It feels good. So, let me go in. I'm still loving my microbladed brows. If you guys watch me, you know that I got my brows microbladed uh, months ago. 
and I still love them. But when I'm doing a full, full face of makeup, I do like to go in and just kind of, you know, deepen them up, clean them up a bit, make them look a little bit neater. But just on a regular everyday basis, I love them, you know. So I'm going to go ahead, and clean up my brows and then we'll come back and jump into a look with this palette. Okay guys, so I have filled my brows in, made them a little bit more aggressive. Now I'm going to prep my lid with my P. Louise base. You guys know I've been using this forever. I'm still using it and <laughs> I don't know when or if that's ever going to change. So I'm just going to tap some of this on my lids. Okay, so before I go in with this beautiful colorful palette, I want to kind of um, put like a, you know, kind of flesh toned um, bit of powder just here on the upper part of my eyelid just to help these colors blend into my skin tone um, a little bit better. So I'm just adding a little bit of my face powder just to the upper part of my eyelid so it's not such a harsh transition with the colors okay so that'll help those colors just blend a little bit better so i'm thinking i want to do kind of like a a pinky green type look today i know i know but yeah that's kind of what i'm feeling what i'm vibing so I'm going to go into this shade here, which is a lighter green shade, um, and just kind of start that out in my crease and then slowly deepen it up with the darker green shade. It's more of like a kind of like an aqua, aqua blue type shade more so than green. So I think that'll look nice, actually. And just looking at it, I see it is nicely pigmented, okay? Very nicely pigmented. So this is probably going to be kind of like a blue-green pinky type eye. <laughs> Which you guys know I am not afraid of. It just seems like their shadows just get more and more pigmented and more and more smooth with every palette that they come out with it's like just a dream <laughs> okay so if you thought that this palette was not going to be deep enough for those of us that really really like beautiful bold color you can see how this light shade right here this light shade, how it's looking on my eyes. Very, very nicely pigmented, okay? Gorgeous, okay. So now that I have that pretty much placed in my crease, now I'm gonna go into this darker green shade here. So, so pretty. And just place a little bit of that a little bit further down in my crease and see how that looks. pretty and these shades are blending together so nicely now let's go into this beautiful blue shade I wasn't really going to focus on blue but I definitely want to add a little bit of more color to this look before we hit this lid so I'm going to go into this blue and just kind of tap that on the inner and outer corners You 
yes ma'am that's gorgeous I'm actually even though I know how nice Nomad's shadows are and their color stories are beautiful I'm actually quite shocked at the pigmentation because <laughs> it's just it is it's like their shadows are just getting better and better it's crazy and I definitely love a, a nice blue-green blend. And you guys know, when I sit down to do an eye look, I, I really don't pre-think it or plan it or anything like that. I just start throwing color on my lid and see what happens, so... That's pretty much what I'm doing today. And these shadows are blending beautifully. Um, I'm loving it. <laughs> I am loving it. Okay. Let's leave a little bit of space in the middle for our um, pink shimmer. Okay. So I got that blue laid down uh, pretty nicely. And I told y'all I wanted to do like a pink and green. I'm going to go into this beautiful shimmer here and place that on my lid. We about to see what's going to happen. Okay. And, oh, she's pretty. Oh, my gosh. She's gorgeous. Look at that. don't you know feel like you want to do because you can definitely do a monochromatic look with this with the blue and green and just have a beautiful green or blue shimmer you know that's definitely up to you but you guys know I like to mix it up so we are going with the pink on top of the blue and the green and I'm using my finger just to make it easy for me today don't mind my fingernail, it broke and child. I had to do a little ghetto repair <laughs> on my nail, but it's all good. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do like that and then just kind of blend out the edges a little bit so it's not too, too harsh, but yeah, that's what we are doing today. Pink and blue and green, honey. Okay, so now I'm going to do some liner and lashes and clean this up a bit before I move on to some of the new products that I want to try on my face. And then we'll come back and finish up this eye look. Okay, you guys. So I basically just threw on some lashes, no liner, just lashes. Don't know which lashes they are because they were just sitting on my beauty desk. Sorry about that. But, you know, they're a little bit, a little bit bold. Have a little flutter on the end. Um, so I'm going to start out with the Ciate London Dewy Skin. This is their Glass Glow Primer. I definitely got this in my Boxy Charm. So I want to try this out as my primer today. First time using it. So let's see how she works. And this is what it looks like. So it is a white um, liquid primer. I don't know why I was thinking it was going to be clear, maybe because it's called Glass Glow, but yeah, I thought it was going to be clear. I can definitely see the glow aspect to it. Okay, and I'm going to go in with my Essence Camouflage Concealer. This is not new. I use this to handle these dark circles a bit <laughs> so they're not as bad and I am sitting in front of my window so I'm kind of you know I'm using natural lighting today and hopefully that'll give you a better idea of how these products look so for foundation I'm trying out this Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless foundation got this in my boxy charm as well so not sure if this shade is going to work for me i believe i have the shade 13 if i'm reading that correctly y'all know with my vision 
this is what it looks like it does have a pump on here so i'm going to pump some on my hand oh it's nice and thick so that's what it looks like has a little bit of drip to it but very nice thick formula and i'm gonna go in with a sponge and just kind of tap in place and i like to just kind of blend my foundation in with that concealer you know that I use under my eyes and around my mouth I just like to kind of blend everything in together so that's what we'll do so this is what two pumps is looking like on my skin I feel like I can definitely see that glow from that Ciate London primer which I'm not mad at it. I'm sure when I powder up, you know, it'll go away. But yeah, you know, if you like kind of like a glowy, dewy look, like if you wear, um, what do you call them? Like tinted moisturizers and stuff, and you like a glowy look, then you'll probably like that primer. So yeah, so that's what two pumps is looking like on me. Pretty decent coverage, pretty decent coverage. And I think this is probably the closest shade to my skin tone, to be honest with you. So I'm glad this is the one that I picked from BoxyCharm for the Charlotte Tilbury Foundation. Okay, so I do have a new concealer that I picked up from Sephora. It's this Kosas Concealer. And y'all know this is, ah, oh, it's so small, chap. I think it's eight, the shade 08 that I got. It is um, just slightly brightening. So I'm gonna see how this kind of blends out and how the coverage is. But yeah, I saw this, I went into the Sephora store and just like swatched it and was like, okay, I'm gonna try that out, so. I did go ahead and grab this to try. Ooh, that's a lot. And I'm going to use this kind of like oval shaped sponge to blend this out. Okay, so it definitely blends away a bit you see how the coverage kind of shears out with the sponge so with a brush maybe it wouldn't blend away as much but I see a slight amount of coverage but yeah it's definitely blending away with the sponge so if you like lighter coverage then you might like this I like a little bit more coverage because <laughs> of the dark circle issues that I have under my eyes. But for brightening, it does work out nicely. And I'm not having any issues with blending it. So definitely blendable. Nice formula there. But it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Ooh, this dewy skin, child. Okay, so I don't have a new under eye powder that I want to use. So I'm just going in with my L'Oreal Infallible. And I'm going to, what is this? This is 600 Golden Beige. Yeah. And I'm just going to use a brush to set under my eyes. Okay, I do have a new all over face powder that I wanna try out. This one is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Finish Face Powder in the shade four, which is the deepest, I believe. So that's what she looks like. So I'm gonna see how this works to set my whole face. I did pick this up during the Sephora sale. So 
Let's see how it works on me. I don't know. I'm like really particular when it comes to my face powders because it's like if the shade is off just a little bit, it'll drive me nuts. <laughs> if it's just a little bit too cool tone or a little bit too dark or whatever, it just drives me crazy. So, oh, okay. It looks like this is going to work. Okay. It's really um blending nicely with like the rest of my body as you can see it's just just deepening me up just the right amount i would use my charlotte tilbury bronzer since i'm doing the foundation and the powder but i have a little duo from nars that I'm really curious about. I'm not sure how it's gonna work out on my skin tone, so it might mess up this whole look. <laughs> but I wanna try it out. I got it during the Sephora sale, and I'm just like, I really wanna try it out and see how it's going to fare on me, because I don't know, child. <laughs> okay. So this powder is actually really, really nice, and it's a good shade for me. I'm feeling it. I kind of lost some of that brightness under my eye because I put the powder up a little too high, but it's all good. I like, I like. Yeah, it's definitely a good shade for me, for sure. Okay, so the little duo that I was talking about is this NARS duo, really pretty packaging as you can see. And this is called, what is it? Summer Unrated. That's what it says on the back there. And let me show you what this looks like. It's so pretty if you haven't seen it yet. So this is what she looks like on the inside. So in my opinion, honestly, it looks like two blushes to me. That's supposed to be a bronzer, but this very orangey red tone for a bronzer, okay? So kind of, mm, mm, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. See, that looks like a blush to me, child, but we finna try it to bronze up just a little bit and hopefully I don't destroy this face. Okay, so it's giving, it's giving a little bit of like that sun-kissed bronzed look. Okay, okay, I, I can live with that. <laughs> I can live with it, it's not too bad. Let me do this half of my face and then you guys can be the judge. Cause it is a little bit more orangey red tone than I prefer um, as a woman of color, you know? And I love bronzer, but I don't like it to look like orange and red, you know? So I'll do half of my face so we can check it out. Okay, so this is half of my face done with this NARS bronzer. So this is the half that's done. And this is the half that's not. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. It's not bad. It's a little bit more red than I prefer, but it's not bad at all. Honestly, I can I can deal with that. Okay, you guys. Now, <laughs> when I say your girl don't went sun kissed, your girl don't went sun kissed. So that bronzer, very pigmented, very warm, earthy. You know, just came out that sun. Okay, now, yeah, I took it to a whole nother level, but you can see it definitely works, definitely shows up. It's a nice bronzy tone. I went a little hand with it, okay. Now there is a shimmery blush in here, so I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my cheeks, just a little bit. I think it might look nice with this eye look, so. We are gonna put just, just a little bit and see 
Oh, that's pretty. Girl. What? Okay, Nars. Okay, okay. That is gorgeous. Yo, with this bronzer? This is pretty. Okay. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it. Picasso. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm feeling it. It goes very nicely with this bronzer. It's beautiful. And as you can see, it blends really nicely. Goes well over powder. Okay. Yes. All right. And it's not like too, too shimmery, shiny, okay? But just enough. Okay. Pretty. Okay, so I am going to go in with some of this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush uh, Flawless Setting Spray before I do my highlighter. Okay, you guys, so I am going to go in with this Kiko Cosmetics highlighter that I got before the holidays. I got it from Ulta. Don't know if it's still available or not, but it's so gorgeous. This is the shade. So, so pretty. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of this highlighter just to add a little bit of glow. Not that I need any more glow, right? And what I like about this highlighter is that it's not that like pow in your face. It just gives a nice, subtle, natural glow. Very subtle. I feel like I'm already glowing. <laughs> glowing enough, okay? I don't even feel like I need highlight, to be honest with you, because your girl is glowy from that primer and foundation and the blush and everything i'm like super glowy right now but i love this highlighter it's so pretty i think i'm gonna put on some lipstick right quick because i hate having foundation lips i think i'm gonna do a blue liner i haven't done blue liner in quite a while so we're gonna go with a really pretty bright blue liner this is one of my Beauty Creations liners. Gorgeous. This one is called Denim. So it's from Beauty Creations called Denim. Very pretty, very bright. Okay, so back to the palette. Hmm. What do we want to do, you guys, on the lower lash line? I'm looking at the blue because it's so gorgeous. Yeah, let's go ahead and go with this blue on the lower lash line and I'm going to pop that green shimmer or maybe this in my inner corner. We'll see. Okay, you guys, so I feel like I want to do matte in the inner corner instead of a shimmer. So I am going to go in with this beautiful bright green shade here in my inner corner. Instead of the shimmer, we're going to do matte today, okay? I feel like my face is so glowy. Let's just stick to matte. <laughs> I don't feel like I need to shine anymore, okay? So... Let's just pop this bright green matte in the inner corner and give us a little bit of, you know, variety right there. Oh, that's pretty. So this is it you guys this is the final look for today hopefully you enjoyed hanging out with me to create this look i would say my favorite products of the day are the palette this eyeshadow palette is banging you guys it is really really nice 
really, really pretty, so pigmented, easy to use, vibrant. I'm feeling it, okay? So if you were curious if it is black girl friendly, yes it is, okay? Beautiful palette, I love it. All right. <laughs> but yeah, so the Nomad Paradise Islands palette, so, so gorgeous. Definitely grab it, definitely pick it up. I do have a discount code actually for it. I'll put it in the um, description box down below. So I would say that is one of my favorite items, the NARS Duo Blush and Bronzer. I was a little bit scared, a little bit skeptical. I mean, as you can see, your girl is very, very bronzed up and very, very glowily blushed up. So feeling it, love it. So glad I grabbed it. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury powder worked out nicely. Foundation worked out nicely. I'll see how it holds up. The Kosas concealer mm, kind of blended away a bit. Like I said, I'm gonna try it with a brush instead of a sponge and see if that works out better for me. And this primer, very dewy, very glowy. If you like dewy and glowy, definitely try out that primer. So that's it for today, you guys. Hopefully I can get back into the swing of things. I really, really am excited to be in my new location, my new home, and just ready to kind of dive back into some vlogs and makeup with you guys. So hopefully you have a great day and a great rest of the week. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, and if you haven't subscribed and you like your girl, definitely subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Toodles!